Hello there and welcome back to my <laughs> Hello there and welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be playing around with some AliExpress makeup. I hope that you're doing well today wherever you are in the world. Uh, so today is the 29th of March. We are struggling in the UK um, with the crisis that's currently happening. I know that other countries, Italy, Spain, America, um, are struggling too. So I just wanted to begin the video by saying that I hope wherever you are, you, your loved ones are safe, are well, are managing to remain somewhat positive amongst everything everything that's going on in the world right now because it, it it's a tough time like it's an incredibly tough time for so many people i know that there's probably many of you who have been deeply affected by the current events and um, maybe you're concerned about your job maybe you're concerned about your health concerned about the health of loved ones and right now more than ever I just think it's so important that we show each other kindness, compassion, love, support. I just think it's really really important that we are there for each other at this time and I just want, want to let you know that we're in this together. So with all that being said we are going to jump right into the video. I hope that this video will bring you some fun, laughter, happiness for the next 20 minutes or so. So okay so the first product we're going to be trying out today is by DSM. So this is the Pure Mineral BB Cream. So I have tried one product by the DSM brand and it was the most beautiful setting powder. It's just my number one favourite setting powder. It's so comparable to the Hourglass I don't know the name of them, but you know the hourglass, like you have to sell t t your two kidneys, your liver and your firstborn child in order to buy because they're so expensive, those ones. So yeah, I love their setting powder. So I was really, really keen to try out some other products by the brand and I spotted this one and I just thought, yes, that sounds like something that I could really get down with. So we're going to be trying out this BB cream. I feel like I'm like hunched over. Why am I hunched? I know why I'm hunched. The boys have been in my room because they, they've been playing this game called works because, you know, the schools are closed now and yeah. So they've been up in my makeup room playing works and they've kind of re, they've adjusted stuff and something's missing on my stand. Look, I'll show you. So this is like, this is my makeshift stand. So I've got a table. I've got uh, Jeffree Star's nude liquid lipstick box. I've got Lion Crimes eyeshadow palette. I've got some other boxes and a book. So I think they've taken one of my other my other boxes. So I'll just look for that and I'll get back to you. Okay, so I found this Spider Man jigsaw and this is perfect to finish off my makeshift stand. So. Let's see. Oh my gosh, yes. Living my very best non-hunched life. So, okay. So, we're going to be trying out the BB cream. I also have another one of the S Makeup Melted Eyeshadows. So, I've tried two of these already. I've tried the pink one and I've tried the nude one. I absolutely love these so much. I've worn the pink one so many times since I first tried it. And then when I saw the yellow one, I was like, yes. So we're going to be trying the yellow one today. Uh, the formula of the other two was really, really good. So I do got like I'm going into this feeling super optimistic, but I'm just really, really keen to see what the yellow looks like. So we've got that. And then finally, we have a cream. I No, it's not an eyeshadow. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Seriously, this is what lockdown's doing to me. It's just rendering me even less able to communicate than I ever was. And I was never good at it, honestly. But um, we have a cream contour and highlight stick. Do you know what? The amount of concentration it took for me to actually tell you what this was is 
unbelievable honestly quite unbelievable i don't know how i'm ever going to get back into normal life again do you, do you know what i mean like when the whole lockdown was first announced i was like oh my gosh like how am i going to deal with this how am i going to work full time and parent and homeschool and keep everything going like how am I going to do this but now that I've done it for a week and I've kind of got my groove and I'm like okay this is not so bad now I'm thinking how am I ever going to get back to normal life doing the school runs getting the boys dressed in the morning driving to the office seeing people having meetings I just don't know how I'm going to do it and by the way I'm really really sorry that I think in my recent videos I've been a lot more talkative maybe than in previous videos and I just think it's because I like I'm not seeing anyone right now really other than the boys and honeys so it there's like I kind of in, I, I'm enjoying talking so I do apologize for that if I know that some people enjoy me talking and some people want less talking and both are fine with me like I completely respect both opinions but yeah I'm talking a lot so I just anyway guys so we're going to be trying out the DNM play 101 stick which uh sounds like it could be something else but it's not I promise it's not okay so we're going to begin with the BB cream why am I shaking it like this I don't know so this is what their packaging is like it looks extremely kind of high end uh, extremely kind of boohoo boo boo bougie i don't know i couldn't think of the word the dsm bb pure mineral bb cream carry bright well balanced color of skin flaws invisible moist prevent bask in like i have no idea really what any of that means but we're just gonna we uh it says at the back especially contains the biological sugar sugar glow composition make your skin show clear luster ah, ah i don't know anyway and i've got this in the shade nc20 so i'm just oh oh she was very keen to pop out then so i'm just gonna pop oh she comes out in a strange fashion watch this oh no she came out fine then of course the one time i mentioned she's popped out in a funny fashion she just pops right out all slinky sophisticated not got a care in the world but then when when i didn't make a point of it she was like pff, pff, pff. i've got my uh, sponge by the way real techniques classic face sponge this is uh, the best one in the whole world the very best you can shove your beauty blenders up beauty blenders backside for all i care i just think that's a waste of money so okay anyway so let's do this i have got a feeling this is going to be quite light coverage but let's just go do you know what it doesn't really seem that light coverage does it at all you know for a bb cream like even like the majority of foundations from aliexpress tend to be extremely light coverage but I mean, this one calls itself a BB cream and it's kind of has more coverage than most of the foundations on AliExpress. Do you know what? I'm liking it. It does have a slight kind of skincare-y kind of smell to it, which I don't mind. I'm just going to pop it over my lid. Look, this is where you really can see how much coverage a product has because if you look at this lid here, I do have quite a lot of visible kind of veins they're quite visible um whereas over on this side where i've just applied the product like they are concealed so for me that's like my big test when i'm testing the coverage of a base product so i've got a song just going round and round and round my head at the moment you know that one dance monkey give it to me give it to me give it to me give it to me oh my gosh no i messed that up it goes give it to me give it to me i would play it for you but it's probably going to cause my channel to be deleted. Give it to me, give it to me, give it to me. Oh, oh, oh. yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I don't know. Anyway, you probably just Google Dance Monkey, okay? And you'll know the one I mean. It's going round and round and round and round and round my head. This is why I don't listen to like popular music generally because I just find that it's designed to stick in your head. Whereas like heavy metal and 
the music that I love doesn't really stick in your head as much. I'm sure that producers of pop music put some kind of audio crack in their songs or something. I don't know. But anyway, guys, so this is what the BB cream is looking like. I think it looks absolutely gorgeous. It reminds me in you know consistency the way it applied and the way it looks it reminds me of the laura mercier um tinted moisturizer although this definitely has a lot more coverage i think the shade is perfection i am absolutely like absolutely loving it right now and also it's super flattering around my pores it's just generally like flattering like all over my entire face particularly on my chin where i do have quite a bit of texture from previous breakouts okay this is looking good i could go to santa i don't know where i could go central pay say well let's face it no one's going to be going anywhere for a while i could go to my back garden let's put it that way but over on this side it's like oh no what is going on there like what is happening um okay so i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna do the rest of my face and then i'll be back why did i say it? and then i'll be back as if i just wasn't sure it was kind of like i may be back i mean i might be back I just don't know. Oh my gosh, there's a lady. Oh, this is so awkward, guys. I'm just dying. So, you know, since the whole crisis happened, I'm sorry, I can't make eye contact right now. But, you know, the since the whole crisis happened, the one major, like, benefit is that it's brought all of our neighbours together. So, like, before the crisis, I knew the names of, like, one of our neighbours. And now I know the names of, like, all the neighbours on the street because we have this WhatsApp group. So that's wonderful. You know, the community spirit, the way that it's kind of really brought people together. But the neighbour opposite is in her window. And, you know, previous to being in a WhatsApp group with everyone, it just wouldn't have bothered me at all. But now it's bothering me because now, like, I feel like she's my friend. And I'm just sat here just talking to a camera with a ring light on and I just feel like she's going to think I'm so weird right now. Oh my gosh. Has she gone? Yes, yeah, she's gone. Oh gosh, thank gosh. Seriously, guys. Oh my gosh, that was so awkward. It was so awkward. You know when someone's kind of like a stranger and, and anonymous, you don't feel as bothered. Like, I used to just you know, prance about my bedroom with just like my knickers and brow on and not really care. Whereas now, since the formation of the WhatsApp group, all of a sudden, I'm very coy. I'm a prude. I do not prance about in front of my bedroom window with just my bra and panties on. No, no, no. That's the thing of the past now, guys. Okay, so I've completed the full face and I am... So so happy with this like this looks so beautiful it's got so much more coverage than i would expect from a typical like bb cream why did i go bb cream i don't know but i just think it looks really really beautiful it looks natural whilst at the same time providing good coverage it's got the most beautiful healthy skin kind of dew dewy glow to it it's not cakey looking at all the shade is perfect. It's just made my skin look so bright, healthy, and natural. Like, like I was born like this, and I definitely was not. Could you imagine if you were born with this hair? Could you imagine? Oh my gosh, that would be hilarious, and it would make a great news story, but anyway so do you know what guys so far so fantastic for this bb cream i am going to be wearing the makeup uh for most of the day today i've not got much to do because i'm in lockdown but i will come back to you after a few hours or i don't know just at some point and i'll give you like an update but for now so far so good Okay, so next we're going to do a little bit of contouring and highlighting, which I feel is a little bit of like an unnecessary step right now because I'm just absolutely loving the look of my foundation. I feel like you could definitely just plop on this BB cream, go about your day, and people will be looking like, oh my gosh, her skin, it is perfect. And they wouldn't really notice that you've got any makeup on. So I feel like it's a little bit of a crime to apply makeup to this, but I'm going to do it anyway. So we're going to be trying the DNM 
play 101 stick so at one end you've got a light kind of concealer slash highlighter and then at the other side you have the uh, contour part the contour part the cont part the cont part I don't know uh, oh pardon me um there's a little hair on it there's a little hair on it. Has Jacqueline Hill been somewhat involved in the manufacturing of this? I just don't know. But um, Okay, so this is in the shade. I have no idea, guys. I literally, it doesn't say. I have no idea. So, okay, we're going to begin. I'm just going to pop a little bit. Oh, do you know what? Definitely not as, not as dark as I was expecting, you know, from the looks of the pen. Do you know what I mean? Oh, she's definitely not that dark. Do you know what? I'm loving that though because um, I tried the Focalior cream contour stick the other day and although I like really, really loved it, she was quite dark. So yeah, I was kind of like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, are we in for a very dark contour today? I just don't know, but I'm glad we're not. You know what I mean? So anyway, I'll just pop a little bit there. Oh shit, guys, the neighbour, she's Keep back, keep back again. Oh my gosh, guys, so tell me, what have your communities been up to during this crisis? Are you now part of a WhatsApp group containing every single person in your street? Are you? I mean, really, guys. Do you know what, though? I've realised that people are fundamentally so kind. Like, you get a few bad eggs, of course, but the majority of people are just so nice and kind and lovely um, so it's been really, really nice to see. It's been really, really nice. And even out of such a bad situation, it's just, it's so, it means so much to see people come together. You know what I mean? So anyway, okay, so. Oh my gosh, this blends out so easily, although like you can barely see her. You can barely see her. She's so light. She's so light. She's so light. I will let you know. Uh, what shade she was uh, so that you know this must be the lightest one though because like she's incredibly light incredibly so um, but she blends out easy enough like no problem whatsoever for me the mark of a really good quality cream contour is when you don't need to like you know really get into like a workout situation trying to blend it out Um, you know you want to just be able to just you know tap I cannot see what I'm doing here because, like, I'm showing you, but then I'm not showing myself. I'm just like, I, I'm going in blind. So, yeah, let me show you. Okay, so, you know when you can just, like, tap? Ignore my sideburns, please, guys. I do shave them off regularly, but they insist on growing back. They just do. They grow back faster than the speed of light, honestly. Okay, so see what I mean? You can just, like... You can tap and there's barely any effort being put into this, this blending. So for me, that is a sign of a really, really decent cream contour. Let me show you on the chin. I mean, I do like the DNM brand. I do. I tried a number of their products now and generally I've been really, really impressed. There have been some shitters, honestly. They really, really have. But for the most part, I really, really like I really like it. I'm not going to put the cream contour, contour, contour on my forehead because I just suddenly realised one day that it looks shit. And I was thinking, why am I doing this? I'm just doing it because, like, that's kind of what I see everyone else doing. So, like, I'm just going to jump aboard the forehead contour train. But actually, like, mm, it's not necessary. Like, I'm not doing it. Um, do you know what? I really, really like this cream contour. I think that the shade was just light enough to look natural with the BB cream and I just, yeah. Do you know what? I'm liking everything. I, oh, I forgot. I've got the other side to use. Um, this one is, I think it's like just a light, a brightener, like a cream brightener. Um, I just, I'm really like not wanting to put too much on top of this base because I'm just loving it so much. Um, Oh, me and Honey's watched uh, The Tiger King on Netflix. Uh, we watched it in a day because we've got a lot of time on our hands. I would really recommend you watch it if you're kind of 
wanting recommendations even if you're not I'm going to tell you anyway so it's called The Tiger King on Netflix and it's the most outrageously crazy boom bastical fantastic uh, kind of docu-series so you should definitely watch it Carol she definitely did kill her husband she definitely did um anyway so I am just going to pop a little bit of this do you know what my lip filler oh my gosh my lip filler let's just say it's disappearing but it's not going out gracefully at all i'm going to do a video on this you may have already seen it i don't know but i am going to do a video just to try and like not not tell people not to get lip filler but i just think that um yeah there's some things that i've kind of started to realize that i didn't know before Okay, so to set all of this, I'm going to be using the DSM Mineral Setting Powder. So this is the setting powder that I was telling you about at the beginning of the video. That is an amazing dupe of the Hourglass powders. So this is what she looks like. She's got this kind of marbleized effect. I've raved about her so many times here on my channel. So, you, so if you've watched my videos before, you may already have seen that. I'm going to not set my lid so because I, I'm going to be putting a cream product on there so I'm just going to tap out any sinkage under my eyes, any areas where the product may have just sank into my lines. Oh, I'm taking off the BB cream now as well. Oh my gosh. Oh no. Oh no. I'll just pop a little bit more on. Oh my gosh. Okay. Do you know what? This is why I was a little bit reticent reticent about applying uh the the you know the highlight part of the cream play stick because i didn't want to risk disturbing the beautiful bb cream you know um i feel like my whole life now is about preserving the beautiful bb cream all right anyway so i'm just gonna pop a little bit of this powder under my eyes this powder definitely has a little bit of a glow to it it just it just kind of rounds everything off and makes your face look like an angel sent from heaven honestly it does so i'm just going to tap a little bit just on my nose just on my nose with bow like i am 35 now so i can't really put on loads and loads of powder because i just find that it's not very flattering Definitely does not do me any favours, honestly. So I'm just very gently tapping at the minimal, the minimal of product. And I'm enjoying it. This feels really nice. You know, just like having a few seconds just to sit here, tapping my face. Are we all going to be the same people after this lockdown has come to an end? I just don't know, guys, because we, we're kind of having to slow down. You know, whereas, like, before lockdown, before the crisis, we would all be going, like, a million miles an hour. And I just feel like, I, for the first time in a long time, I feel like I can actually just sit back and breathe. That's probably, like, a massive <laughs> exaggeration. Like, really, I was being rather dramatic there, but I just feel like, I feel like all of the things that made me anxious meetings seeing people large groups of people just generally interacting with people people just all of the things that would make me like incredibly anxious it's all just like that's disappeared and for the for the first time in a long time i don't feel absolutely crippled by the weight of social anxiety honestly and i'm not saying that you know, I'm happy this situation's happened because I'm not, but I just think it's important to focus on the positives of which there are some. There are some. I just feel like it's Piccadilly Circus here today. Piccadilly Circus. Just every single person, I think, in the, in the whole neighbourhood has come to use the toilet. Not the whole neighbourhood, of course. We are adhering to um, the lockdown, but I just feel like every single person in my household had been going to the toilet like why is the toilet suddenly become so popular what i just i just don't know but anyway okay so i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna do my eyebrows i'm gonna do anything else that needs doing it, and then i'll be back and we are going to try the beautiful yellow some makeup some makeup 
Mm. I want I want some makeup on my face. I just feel like I'm looking a bit orange. What's going on with that? Is that just me? Am I imagining it? I hope I am. Yeah, let's just have to that. I think I was. Do you know what? Uh, for the last couple of days, I've had a really bad pain in my left boob. So I'm just going to Google, like, pain in left boob and see what it says. It's probably going to say you will die imminently. But, yeah, I just need to find out because it's just my left boob. But, like, why has it been so painful? I just don't know. Okay, so I've done my eyebrows. And we're going to be trying out the S Makeup Beautiful Yellow Double Ended situation so this is a very very similar to the huda beauty melted eyeshadows because you've got kind of the matte kind of the base end bit and then you've got the glittery bit so to begin i'm going to go in with the yellow matte base and what i have learned mostly actually from Huda Beauty, is that less is more. Like when I very first tried this, I tried the nude one and I definitely put way too much of the matte side down and it just did not really dry and it, yeah, I didn't really like it after that initial use because I, I kind of blamed the product as opposed to looking at myself and realizing that actually I just applied way too much i'm literally going to apply and this is this is the exact same way that huda beauty advises you apply her um melted eyeshadows i'm going to just pat out that little crease on my lid okay, so i'm just going to go one two three literally one two three it's as simple as one two three so i always feel that cream products are so much easier to work with than powder products. They're like the microwave meals of makeup. They're just like the easiest, easiest, easiest things to use. Gently blend out the product. Oh my gosh, so beautiful. You know, a lot of the time, like yellow eyeshadows can look extremely kind of faded, just not very like pigmented or opaque. This is wow. It, this is wow. Do you know what? I would absolutely love to do a side by side, you know, with like one or two of these, like compared with the Huda Beauty ones. Like, you know, could you imagine AliExpress one eye? Huda Beauty, the other eye. I just have so much confidence that the AliExpress much cheaper version would perform just as well as the Huda Beauty one, honestly. This is what we've got going on here. It just looks like spring on my lid. It's meant to be spring here in the UK and it snowed this morning. At this rate, I would not be surprised if I looked out my window and saw a family of elephants just roaming past. Okay, so I've blended that out and I really, really like it. I'm going to get another brush and I'm just going to go around the edges. I feel like I want to apply just one more dot. Oh, do you know what? I just, I can't stop myself sometimes. Like, I am so bad. Like, even, like, if I'm just getting myself some Greek yogurt and honey, I can't just have, like, two spoonfuls of Greek yogurt. I have to have, like, the whole tub. Is anyone else just eating loads at the moment as well? You know, being on lockdown, just eating loads. Like, eating through all your supply of lockdown food that's meant to last you for, like, two weeks. I've just eaten through the whole supply. So has honeys. Seriously, honeys. All right, so now that I have done that, we're going to move in to the glittery, sparkly side. So the matte side was the demure. I am... Oh, come on, honeys, right? Seriously, honeys. I appreciate you liking what I'm sending you, but I don't need that. Oh, it's still vibrating. Yeah. Okay, let's do this. so gorgeous the glitter is kind of micro glitter it's absolutely kind of you know t the tiniest glitter i think that's ever been created and because of that because there's 
so much of it. It just gives this really, really kind of subtly, but still very stunningly beautiful kind of sheen. Can you see? It's just like a wet look sheen. Oh my gosh, it's so gorgeous, so gorgeous. So I'm just going to place this. I think just in the center of my lid, you know, just to give it a little bit of pizzazz. Oh, this is everything that I wanted it to be and more. Um, the only thing I would say that I would probably, you know, love more would be if the yellow was just a little bit more pigmented because definitely after I'd blended it out, it, it does look very pastel, which don't get me wrong, I like myself a pastel yellow, as you can see from my top. I would have liked the... Maybe it to be a little bit bolder, but maybe like I could have just applied more and you know got that. But anyway, this is so pretty. So I'm just gonna I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna leave that there. Although, do you know what I am gonna do? I'm gonna pop some in my inner corner. I'm gonna go back in with the yellow mat, and I'm just gonna put. I'm gonna go what one. Oh, do you know what? Oh my gosh, I overdid it, guys. Missy's overdo things. She just could not help herself. She just overdid it. Um, okay, so I'm just going to blend this out. Do you know what? This BB cream is just making my skin look so good. It's like so good. This could be like my new everyday BB cream. It really, really could. I love it that much. I absolutely love it. If this was like, um, you know, a Dior Chanel, I'd be like, oh yes, that sounds about right because it's, it just, it's so nice. I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to do the other eye, I'm going to just finish off the face and then I'll be back um, to give you my final thoughts, although there probably won't be many. There will be, no, why am I putting myself down? There will be some, but yeah, anyway, I'm just going to finish off and I'll be back. Okay, so I have, oh no, I've not finished the look. I've not done my lower eyelashes. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'll be back in a sec. Okay, so this is definitely the finished look. So I went ahead, I put my mascara on, did some lips, did some highlight. And do you know what? I am really, really loving this look. I'm loving it. I'm loving all of the three products that we've tried. The DNM Play Stick, love all though. I would definitely say, like, I'll confirm what shade this was, but it was super light, which is really good if you've got really fair skin. I would definitely think this would be good, but if you've got, like, skin any darker than mine, don't get this shade of which, I don't know what shade it is, but I will confirm. But don't get this shade because I think it'll be too light for you. I absolutely love the yellow some makeup stick. I love it. I just think it's so summery, so fresh and vibrant but most importantly so easy to use you saw just dot 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 blend i really really love this and i think it's absolutely complimenting my hair right now i really really do so i definitely recommend these s makeup melted eyeshadows i love all three of these and i can't recommend them enough just don't use too much less is more and so far i really really love the bb cream it feels so lightweight it's kind of like i've just got a moisturizer on it doesn't really feel like i've got anything at all like on my face so i love the feel of it i love the look of it i think it just looks so natural so healthy so dewy and glowy I'm getting really good feelings in my vagina about this, honestly. But the proof is in the pudding. And 
I need to give it more time because I mean it's not been on my face for long so I'm going to be keeping the whole makeup on for the rest of the day and then I will be back to you back to you well, I don't know I'll be coming back to you and I'll be telling you what my long-term views are so I will see you in a minute not a minute it'll be longer a few hours I'll see you in a few hours I'm gonna go sort out my clothes the boys clothes I'm gonna go do all of the things that I've been putting off when my life was so busy but now it's so quiet I can now get to doing everything so that's great anyway I will see you later hello there so I'm back it's a good few hours later I've been busy sorting out my underwear drawer my sock drawer my clothes because believe it or not I've just got like I've got Oh, you can't really see, but I've got loads and loads of cupboards just full of clothes, full of bras, full of tights, and I never wear them. I never wear them. I've got like loads and loads of like, you know, sexy little lacy thongs. I never wear them. I'm sorry, honeys. I never wear them, and I don't plan to. So I've been like, yeah, I've been really, really busy, obviously housebound. So yeah, I've for not really. Well, I've actually done a lot. I'm not going to underestimate what I've done. I've done a lot. I've done a lot of stuff today. So, anyway, I just wanted to come back and let you know what my thoughts are a few hours later on the makeup. So, the BB cream it still feels very comfortable, although I do have a feeling that um, potentially if you have oily skin, it could um, maybe not be the best kind of uh, face product for you because it does definitely, it feels moisturising on the skin. It, it almost has a slight oiliness on the skin and I do definitely feel like unless you really, 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 really locked it down in place with powder, it, it could look incredibly oily. Um, I think if you've got dry skin, it would be perfect and I think if you've got like normal skin again perfect but potentially could look a bit oily so definitely next time I wear it I'm going to be putting a little bit more powder on my face just to try and set it a bit more because I do think that like I'm looking a little bit oily but I still think really good I mean without sounding obnoxious and egotistical still looking good do you know what I mean <laughs> not me by the way the face not me the face product anyway um the eye makeup is lasting really really well it dried down like super super quick again that's down to the fact that i i used the very minimal of uh, product i would definitely urge you that if you're going to be buying the s makeup melted eyeshadow just don't use too much because if you do it won't dry down it'll feel uncomfortable and you're gonna hate it and you'll probably hate me for recommending it so just do like one two three dots blend um i think it looks like an extravaganza on my eyes so i'm really loving it like really really loving it yeah and the contour fine it's fucking contour it's fine i see no problem with it so anyway guys i'm gonna go i'm gonna carry on tidy 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 and i um i hope to see you soon and again that just sounds quite sinister in light of you know what we've got going on at the moment um suddenly you know me saying i'm gonna hope to see you soon but i hope we can do this again sometime maybe that's how i'll end my videos from now on but anyway thank you so much for watching stay safe stay well stay happy stay sane thank you so much for watching Bye.